Hello space fans and welcome to Your Sky Tonight. My name is Tony Darnell from DeepAstronomy.Space. Tonight, as our summer skies start to give way to autumn, we're going to take a look at a star that many astronomers have called the second most important star in our sky next to the sun. That star is Vega. Tonight, it is almost directly overhead in the southern hemisphere, and it can also be seen low in the northern sky from the southern latitudes. So to see it, let's turn due north and then look up. Vega, or Alpha Lyra, is the brightest star in the constellation Lyra the Harp and it is the fifth brightest star overall in our night sky. It is also the second brightest star in the northern celestial hemisphere. Now Lyra looks a bit like a parallelogram next to Vega. Now this star is relatively close to us at only 25 light years from the sun and one of the reasons that it's been called the second most important star in our night sky comes in part from the fact that Vega was once our North Star. Around 12,000 BC, this was our true North, the star around which all others appeared to move. The reason for this is that as the Earth spins on its daily axis, it is also wobbling like a top, making one complete wobble every 25,770 years. Right now, the spin axis of the Earth is pointing at Polaris, but about 14,000 years ago, it was pointing here at Vega. Now the Earth is still wobbling. It hasn't stopped. It is wobbling at the rate of about one degree every 11,000 years, or 328 milli arc seconds every year. So as the axis of the Earth slowly travels in a circle, around the year 14,000 AD, Vega will once again become our North Star. And that is something worth waiting for, wouldn't you say? Vega is only about a tenth of the age of the Sun, and over twice as massive. Because of this, it will live only about one-tenth as long as the Sun. And given how bright this star is and how fast it is burning its fuel, both Vega and the Sun are approaching the midpoint of their life expectancies. Vega is blue-tinged because it is fusing hydrogen to helium in its core very rapidly. At only 455 million years old, this star will only last another few hundred million years before it becomes a red giant and eventually a white dwarf. Interestingly, Vega has a circumstellar disk of material surrounding it, leading many to speculate that there might be planets in orbit around this star. Some early observations suggest that the debris disk surrounding Vega could have clumped into planets, and although no planets have been directly observed around Vega, the presence of a planetary system cannot yet be ruled out. So go out tonight, space fans, face north, and look high overhead on this warm, late summer evening. Find the bright star next to the parallelogram of Lyra the Harp. And there you will see the second most important star in our sky next to the sun. Well, thank you all for watching. And as always, keep looking up.